If you find yourself affected by the current crisis and are unable to pay your rent and live in the city of Los Angeles, here's a program you might be eligible for in terms of assistance. You're listening to The Andres Segovia Show. Welcome to The Andres Segovia Show, everyone. I am yours truly, Andres Segovia. In this episode, I want to give you a basically a PSA to let you know about what's going on in terms of assistance for those of you that are renters affected by our current crisis in the city of Los Angeles because now there's an emergency renters assistance program. This has been in the talks for some time, but it now looks like applications will begin to be accepted. So you can apply for this program Monday, July 13th at 8 a.m. all the way through July 17th at 11 Go up, ending at 11.59 p.m., okay? So this is the City of Los Angeles Emergency Renters Assistance Program, and I'm picking all this information up directly from the Housing and Community Investment Department of the City of Los Angeles, which I will be leaving a link to in the description of the show notes of company's episode of www.theandrasagovia.com and maybe YouTube if I'm in, not in time enough to post it there. The program will provide a temporary rent subsidy for tenants in the city of Los Angeles who are unable to pay rent due to circumstances related to COVID-19 pandemic. The program allocates $103 million to provide a rent subsidy to Los Angeles city renters impacted by the COVID-19 health pandemic and is anticipated to assist 50,000 Los Angeles households. The Los Angeles Angeles Housing Community Investment Department is charged with the implementation of the Emergency Rental Assistance Subsidiary Program, aka ERAS, E-R-A-S. And so a little bit more about the program. Man, they just really love spelling the whole thing out. It almost sounds like you're trying to pronounce SHIELD, but the whole thing, let's just say ERAS. ERAS will provide a temporary rent subsidy for eligible resi- residential tenants in the city of Los Angeles who are unable to pay rent Due to circumstances related to the COVID-19 pandemic, the subsidy will provide a grant of up to $1,000 per month to cover the monthly lease rent based on the rent paid as of March 1st, 2020, with a maximum of $2,000 per household. The rent subsidy will be paid directly to the tenant's landlord on the tenant's behalf. The program will be available to renters of multifamily residential housing who meet the following criteria. Now, I'm going to, again, I'm going to leave all this stuff linked to, and I'll I'll copy paste as much of this information as possible on the show notes accompanying this episode of www.theuniversitygov.com, okay? So the following criteria, residents in the city of Los Angeles, regardless of immigration status. So to verify if you live in the city of Los Angeles, you have to go to neighborhoodinfo.lacity.org. That's neighborhoodinfo.lacity.org. Number two, households that can provide proof of tenancy. So I'm assuming your lease agreement. Okay. Number three. Household annual income at or below 80% of the area medium income, AMI, level prior to the COVID-19 crisis. And here's a little chart that unfortunately it's harder to explain over um, over audio. So this one I hope you'll be able to see it on the web, um, the show notes. So uh, it's talking about the 2019 HUD low income limits for Los Angeles. So it gives you a chart that breaks out between the household size and the income limit. And lastly, number four, households that can provide documentation of loss or reduction of income due to COVID-19 after March 13, 2020. So if you meet the criteria, it basically you have to hit all these four if you meet this criteria applications open july 13 2020 at 8 a.m and remember the last applications will be received by no later than uh, friday july 17th at 11 59 p.m so believe me you're going to want to take advantage of this because like like i said before in previous episodes everybody complains about what's going on at the federal level or the presidency or whatever it's like we have multiple levels of government, folks. We have the state here, the county, and the, and the city. And they have not been responding to any of our pleas. And this is actually a really good thing that's finally being implemented. But why did it take four months? Whatever. It's here now. Let's hope that this can help people that are desperately in need of some kind of help. So a tenant must complete an online application at hcidla.lacity.org. That's the website. Again, link to in the show notes. Applications, I already told you when they're going to be accepted. If a a tenant does not have access to a computer, 
those of you that are listening but don't have a computer, tenants can call 844-944-1868. That's 844-944-1868. And a representative can complete an online application on your behalf. The hotline can support tenants who do not, who do not speak English and will be available from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single day during the application period. And, yeah, and there's more uh, FAQs that you can check out, including for you landlords. You're going to want to know about this so you can spread the word to your tenants. Um, everything that you need to know about this program, don't ask me. Just go to the website. If you have any more questions, contact the Housing Community Investment Department directly. This is for the city of Los Angeles, and it's about time we have something like this coming in. But uh, I'm assuming they're going to be overwhelmed, so get in there as quick as you can. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Angelus Segovia Show. Remember to like, share, subscribe, stay in the know. You can follow me on all the socials. You can find the links over at www.theandrusagova.com. And I'll see you in the next one.